Hello Internet World, welcome to my Mega Gadget Collection Spring Tech Mix video. For those of you new to the channel, these are the videos where I show you a range of technology and gadgets, all in the one video so you can make an informed buying decision. If you are a regular subscriber, welcome back. As always, full disclosure, these products were sent in to me free of charge by their respective manufacturers. No money's changed hands. They haven't asked me to say anything in particular. I'm just sharing with you this video so that you can make an informed buying decision and also some entertainment along the way. Let's get on with the reviews. This is the StarTech Display Link. It comes supplied in this box here. You can see the model number is the 102B USB-C multi-port and it's a USB-C DisplayPort 1.4 multi-port adapter and also dual HDMI 4K 60Hz support, which is really good in a display adapter. But it's also got extra ports on this hub as well. Got USB-C, USB-A, gigabit ethernet, and an SD card reader and 100 watts of power delivery. I like StarTex packaging when they do it like this as well because nice plain packaging, most of the uh, money has gone into the product itself basically. So I'm really uh, okay with packaging like this. We get some information sheet here. This goes through all of the various ports and how to use the product. And then of course we've got the product itself I like the fact this has got a little bit of a longer cable on here. It's also got like a cable tidy grip on this side and really strong connections. So this is really robust, USB-C of course, and then we've got a really nice robust connection into the main box. This is obviously the top, and then we call this the front, which is where we've got some really useful ports. So we've got USB-C with 10 gigabits per second support, We've also got USB-A, which has also got 10 gigabits per second support, and this will allow you to charge something like a smartphone, for example. And then we've also got the SD card slot here, which is UHS-2 support. So a really fast card reader on the front. This is a very useful hub. On the side here, we've got USB-C with power delivery. And then on the back, we have got two HDMIs, which is really useful. Uh, the two HDMIs support 4K 60 hertz. And then of course we've got the gigabit ethernet port. So plenty of ports on this. Really very, very good indeed. Now the DisplayPort 1.4, I believe is supported by the USB-C. So do bear that in mind. It's not like a, a DisplayPort connector as such. But a very, very useful product. It's worked flawlessly for me. When you combine this with something like uh, an Ultrabook or a laptop that's got USB-C, you're getting all of these extra ports plus the SD card reader plus dual display on the HDMI. Very, very useful indeed. I think StarTech have done a fantastic job with the display link and I can highly recommend it. This is from Keoxia. It's their Transmemory U366 USB flash drive. I'd forgive you for hardly being able to see it it's a tiny little flash drive, very compact and extremely well made. It's available in various capacities. This one happens to be the 64 gigabyte model. And this is really good because it supports USB 3.2 Gen 1. So you've got nice uh, sort of data transfer speeds. If we take a look on the back, it is also backwards compatible with USB 3.1, 3.0 and 2.0 as well. The connector is USB type A, works with Windows OS and Mac OS. It'll probably work with Linux as well. We've got a five year warranty. So here we go, let's take a closer look. You can see here it's very, very compact and really well engineered. We've got a full metal body on this, a nice loop on this end, so you can attach it to a key ring, for example. It tells you the capacity on the front. We've got some details on the back here, and of course, the USB connector. Super fast, 64 gigabytes memory, in such a small compact package. This is very useful for carrying around files. Maybe you've got some uh, sort of documents, photos. You've got so much capacity on here, you could easily store full applications as well. You've got really good data transfer speeds. It's worked exceptionally well for me, and I definitely think you should check this out. This is the Proudbird Smart Thermostat Radiator Valve Bundle. It's a really good smart home product. It enables you to install this on a radiator and control that radiator via your smartphone. 
This is what the product box looks like. As you can see here, it mentions the smart gateway that's included, which is Zigbee compatible, I should add. And it's also got remote access. We've got some specifications on the side here and a picture of the product on the front. So really nice looking smart thermostat radiator valve with a display built in as well, I should add. Inside the box, we get instructions on how to install this. And these are really good installation instructions. We also get a USB cable for uh, setting up the uh, smart gateway. We get the little gateway hub itself. And what this does is it sort of acts as a, a bridge in between your home network and the radiator valve. So it's really good that they include this. Micro USB on the back for that cable I just showed you and a little interaction button and some little tiny uh, I think there are LED lights there as well to give you some feedback. So nice compact unit, extremely easy to set up. And then we've got some accessories which you're going to use for attaching this to your radiator valve. And then we've got the radiator valve itself, really well made, absolutely superb and really easy to install. This isn't the most compact smart radiator valve I've seen but the display is really nice on it and it works flawlessly. It's really a, a simple product to install. I would recommend getting a plumber in to install it. I wouldn't probably attempt this myself, uh, but to have sort of that remote capability to control your thermostat on each individual radiator, it's worth buying these for every radiator in your house. If you want to upgrade your smart home, I can certainly recommend this. It's very, very cost effective. This is a product from StarTech. It's their DisplayPort 1.4 to HDMI 2 port multi-stream transport hub. The part number is the MST14DP122HD. And this is what the product box looks like. It's very plain packaging, as you can see. I like this because it means the focus is on the actual product itself. Now inside the box you do get a little tiny USB to micro USB cable. So you get this additional cable inside the box. And this is really used just to sort of power the transport hub and make it function properly. So we've got the, the main hub itself just here and it's got a captive cable which is around about 15 centimeters long. It's terminated in a DisplayPort 1.4 connector so this is what's going to be plugged into your display port. And then you've also got the two HDMI ports on the transport hub itself. A very simple device in its design, but it works extremely well. And being able to split out to two HDMIs is really very, very useful indeed. StarTech make fantastic products. I found this to be very reliable as with all of their other products as well. And as such, I can highly recommend this. This is the Kodak PixPro WPZ2. It's a digital camera, but it's waterproof and shockproof. It's got some really great features built in. So inside the box, let's take a look at the box contents first. We get a quick start guide, we get a warranty card, and then we also get uh, some extra information on that last sheet there. There's a little swing tag included, which has just got the main features detailed. We also get a wrist strap. We also get a USB cable to charge the battery. And this is a micro USB to full size USB. You don't get a USB charger inside the box, you use your own charger. Now the battery is an external battery, but I've already put it into the camera. This is what the camera looks like. We'll take a closer look at this very shortly. Let's take a look at the box. This has got the main features listed including the fact that this is a 16 megapixel sensor inside the camera, waterproof up to 15 meters, shockproof up to two meters, dustproof, Wi-Fi, HD video, panoramic capture, and a 2.7 inch LCD screen on the back. So some great features there. The box simply shows you some various angles of the camera. It's available in different colors. I've got the yellow one here, and it is a really cute, little camera. This is absolutely superb. Now the battery is removable. So you've got an open and a lock switch here so you can lock the door. But when we open it, 
you can see inside we've got the micro SD card slot, we've got the charging port, and then a little tab where we can actually remove the battery. But you charge it inside the camera, and then we can close this down and lock it back into place. We've also, on this side here, got a threaded tripod mount. On this side here, we've got a place for attaching that wrist strap, a little bit of a grip on the front. This side's completely clear. The top has got the main power on off button and also the shutter as well, which acts as a shutter or a record button. And if we turn this on, you can see the really nice display. So 2.7 inch LCD display. We've got some LED feedback just here. We've got zoom in and out. So we can actually zoom in, zoom out. It's like a power zoom. We've also got a mode button, record button. We've got a four way rocker, which gives us access to display, macro, flash, and the trash can and timer modes. We've got a menu button and we've also got a playback button. If we go into menu, we can change various settings like resolution, uh, how it's gonna focus, for example, how it's gonna set exposure. The menu system is very easy to navigate and just extremely nice to use. The actual resulting pictures from this are really good. It takes a little bit of a bit longer to focus, let me put it that way, than some other cameras. But once the focus is locked on, it's very reliable. And what you're getting here is something that is gonna enable you to actually take photos under water and in those extreme conditions. I think that's really good. The fact that this is 15 meters or 50 feet of waterproof means you can go down for a little bit of snorkeling perhaps and take some really interesting photos. The fact that it's shockproof and dustproof as well means you haven't got to worry about it too much. We've got a built-in flash. Underwater photos are superb. The ruggedness gets my vote of confidence. I think Kodak have done a fantastic job of this. It's nice and compact and definitely one that you should consider taking with you on your adventures. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do hit that like button. If you wanna purchase any of these products I've shown you, please do check out the links down in the video description. Please consider subscribing, hit that like button, and I'll see you in another video very, very soon.